what time do you want to leave for the carnival? <clears throat> Spinelli. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, I, it is with profound regret that I must inform Max Musa that she must go to the carnival alone or with a family member. I have most urgent business. Uh, very, 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 very serious business, a new client. Does this new client pay extra? Are they famous? Uh, just a uh, real estate broker who is uh, concerned about his business partner, one Deidre Evans. Um, there's been unexplained absences and secretive behavior. And? And he hired McCall and Jekyll to find out why. <laughs> okay, but that doesn't mean that you can't go to the carnival with me, and it's for a good cause. Indeed, I... I was looking forward to a day of stomach-turning rides and challenging games and overall frivolity, but upon further consideration, I have decided I must abstain. Oh, why? Duty? Law and order? Paying the rent? Okay, Spinelli, I don't like carnivals either, but like I said, it's for a good cause, and the least we could do is go spend just a couple hours in the hospital parking lot. Yeah, I decided I have to remain diligent in my assigned task. I'm sorry. Is it me? Did I do something to upset you? No. No, no. A, a million times no. I'm... I'm sorry. I should, I, I should never try to hide anything from you. But I, I... Even so, I... I can't go to the carnival. Spinelli, whatever it is, you can tell me. I'm deathly afraid of clowns. I got your email about the new client. Yes, it's a complex case indeed, isn't it? And an excuse for Spinelli not to go to the carnival. Oh, no, 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 no. You are going to the carnival. I'm going to take care of this. No, no, no. I already made the initial calls. And I thought you were supposed to go to the carnival, Jason. Um, no, business before pleasure. Yeah, my, Thank you. My sentiments, exactly. And I did the intake interview. A measure of discretion and patience is required. I will follow your notes. Don't worry. I'll take care of it. That was puzzling. Did we not work together to allow Stone Cold and Fair Samantha to spend an afternoon in each other's company? Oh, let them figure it out. You're my main priority, Spinelli. How did I not know you were afraid of clowns? And how is it so bad that you won't even go to a carnival, not even with me? Well, tell me what happened. Did a clown scare you when you were little or something? Not a clown, per se. Okay. Um. It was this gruesome milk pitcher with this evil grin on it. My granny used to put it on the table every, every day of my childhood. Did she know you were afraid of it? Well, I would often cry and cower with fear. So why didn't she just use another pitcher? Well, granny was of the school that if you wanted to conquer your fear, you should face it. And while I don't think she was wrong, and she didn't torment me on, on, on purpose. Uh, I was left with a lifelong fear of clowns and a distaste for milk, although I, I do like ice cream a great deal. So that's it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, no badly designed milk pitcher is going to keep us from going to the carnival. And Spelly, oh. I think I know how we could cure your clown phobia once and for all. <laughs> no, come on, it's okay. <laughs> Nelly? Why the hell are you dressed like a clown? I'm confronting, well, indeed I am, the embodiment of what terrifies me the most. So you're saying you're afraid of clowns? Yes. Confer Samantha cuts to the chase. Um, I'm on my way to the carnival. Why? Well, I don't know. Get the full clown experience, mingle with other clowns, I guess. Who put you up to this? <sighs> Fair Maximista, she does not want her groom to be to live the rest of his life in mortal fear. So, I guess you shouldn't be looking in mirrors anytime soon. <laughs> Excellent suggestion. You know, the more I think about it, I... Shakespeare had clowns in his place. 
Puck, Touchstone, Yorick. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. He was a fellow of infinite jest. Most excellent fancy. Spinelli, what's wrong? It just occurred to me that this Yorick was represented by a skull, a reminder that death is the one certainty for us all. See, clowns are just not happy. <laughs> Come on. What possible danger could there be at a carnival? I suppose you're right. And even if there were, I'm dressed like a clown, and the buffoon often gets the better of the devil. <sighs> I, I am most grateful to my partner for taking over the latest P.I. case. You can conquer our client's mystery as I conquer my fear. By dressing like that? Some say you must become what you fear most. So as for me becoming a clown, I will hopefully put myself in a position to understand that a human heart beats even beneath the most horrific mask of grease paint. Clowns can bring joy and laughter, and I will do my best to spread delight at the carnival. He means well. Whatever. Just hope he doesn't hurt himself. Thus far, my efforts at clown glory have spread far too little joy. I, I fear that adorable toddler, that little red-headed moppet, might be scarred for life. Well, it's nothing a little therapy won't fix. Besides, it's natural for young kids to be scared of clowns. They don't call it a fright with for nothing. Yeah, but then my purpose has been defeated. No, just focus on the older kids and the adults. You could still spread cheer their way. Get that or get punched in the face. What do you got? We never get to have carnivals around here. Can we go into Sizzler? OK, you know what? She's the youngest. She gets to choose the first attraction. Okay. Could you get this out of my face? Uh, gracious greetings to Mr. Sir and assorted family members. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? <laughs>